I'm going to introduce you. Oh, you're walking away. Okay. <laughs> um, so Colleen Burroughs has to, oh yeah, thanks Tom. Everyone's kind of hanging in here. Um, so Colleen has the tough duty of closing out. Closing out. Um, and she's going to talk about a really, really cool tool. Uh, um, uh, it's an online uh, fumigation buffer mapping tool. So. Great. Thanks. Well, thanks, and um, sorry to keep you guys here just a little bit longer, but um, I just want to share with you today a tool that we developed um, along with Inga and Tom around the new fumigation regulations and the buffers. Um, I do have some handouts up here and some postcards that tell you where to the email at, or the web address to get onto it and a little bit of instructions on it. But I'm just going to run through the basics of it on here, and then you can go online and play around mapping your field and what kind of buffers you might have um, and what they look like around certain fields that you might be wanting to fumigate in the near future. So we do have a new soil fumigation webpage and it's um, directly for raspberry growers. There's some general resources on there, uh, links to EPA sites. Um, there's a soil fumigation manual, which if you are going to be doing any of your own soil fumigation or um, just want to understand more about what the regulations are. This is a really great manual. It's a PDF document. Um, there's um, information on buffer zones, links through the EPA, and more on soil fumigant management plans. Uh, the EPA has some information on that, and there's some a, a few private sector websites that have um, some fumigate management plan templates that you can plug information into and they'll help keep tra help you keep track of what's going on. Um, there's links to the fumigate labels, some emergency preparedness, uh, training and certification, and some other general information from other crops that have been dealing with similar things with fumigation. So why did we decide to develop a fumigate management, uh, sorry, fumigation buffer mapping tool? Um, we wanted to help you figure out where you are overlapping onto sensitive areas into either houses or some of these difficult to evacuate areas. So you can actually map it on your, look at it on a map on a satellite image and figure out, okay, what is this going to work for me or do I need to redefine what my buffers are going to be and uh, change perhaps what fumigant I'm going to use or how big of an area or maybe I'm going to try bed fumigating or using a tarp or you know different things like this. Um, yeah so looking at the beginning of the tool if you go to the website this is what it looks like and you can see that it kind of comes up as a this is the map of Whatcom County but what you'll do um, to begin with is to um, enter your address. But before we do that, I just want to let you know that there are these little question mark icons on there and if you're in the tool online, if you click on the question mark icon, you can get some more information. So if you're kind of stuck on where you are, just start clicking on those and you should get some more information on them too. So what you're going to do first off is you're going to enter your location. You can either do this as an address it's kind of hard to see up there, but um, like a street address if you have that, or you can do it as a GPS point. You can see um, there's, where's my, oh there it is. Um, you can see, you can either click on this, it says address, or you can click on this, it says um, point, and you can enter a GPS location. So if you go out there with your iPhone or something and you get your GPS point, and then you can just come back um, and enter this on there. Um, the next step, um, once you enter in there, the map will actually zoom to that place on the map, and so it'll zoom in pretty close. So now you can really see what your field looks like, and you can start mapping that out. And then you're going to draw your treatment area, and how you do that is you click your mouse on every corner, and this, this starts creating this polygon. Gosh, and I'm having a hard time finding, oh, there it is, okay. So you do a little click there, and then you would come up, and then you do, let's see, a click there, and you come up, do a click there, and you can kind of come around a little bit of a contour of the field. So even if your field is not, you know, a regular square shape, you can click around and um, it will, it'll be create that polygon for you. So that's what that ends up looking like there. You can also, instead of clicking around, if you have corner coordinates, um, gosh, where is this thing? There. 
So you can enter the corner coordinates instead by clicking there instead of just um, drawing your polygon. And um, the next thing to do is to um, calculate your buffer zone. So once you have your, let's see, so you have your treatment area here and actually this box here that pops up, it says treatment area 8.4 acres. So that'll click up for you. So if you're not sure what that area of your field is, you can um, click it out on this map and it'll tell you how big it is. So when you're calculating your buffer from the EPA site, you can use that number. So we don't have the buffer calculator on our site, but we, the EPA has a buffer calculator on their site, and that's where it's going to stay, just because if they make any changes, then it's on their site. Um, so what you have to do, once you get your area, you go to the EPA buffer zone calculator, and you follow their instructions. Some of the things you're going to need are um, what fumigant you're going to use, your rate, your size of your field, any buffer credits that you're going to have, uh, method of application, things like that. Um, so then once you've gone through the buffer calculator on the EPA site, you can enter the buffer area where that yellow arrow is in the feet um, and, then, and then press OK. And what it'll do it'll, is it'll map your, um, your buffer zones. So the buffer on this picture is for 12 acres using tail-owned C35 at a rate of 39 gallons per acre with broadcast untarped application. Um, it gives a buffer of 368 feet. So that's a pretty big buffer zone. And you can see how big of an area that overlaps. And then there's also the difficult to evacuate area of a quarter of a mile. So that's an additional buffer zone that reaches out. Um, that's pr it's pretty big. And so um, you, know, you might want to think about, so how can I actually reduce my buffer at this point? What's that going to look like? And <clears throat> if you want to. Um, if you need to reduce your buffer zone, there's a little link uh, in this box. It's really hard to read. No, I can't. Uh, it says click here for some suggestions. And then you can click here again if you want to enter new buffer distance. So you can recalculate your, with your buffer zone calculator if you want to make a smaller field size, for example, um, or try a different type of fumigant to see what it's going to look like. So the next um, oh, okay, so this is our page, it's kind of some options for reducing your buffer size, some suggestions on that. There's some more, there's a couple links on there with some more information, but also some suggestions. And then again, this time we did it the same, same field, um, but using metam sodium or the VAPAM, what, which is what Tom was suggesting with the broadcast shank application, and this now has a buffer of only 27 feet. And that brings that difficult to evacuate area buffer size down to an eighth of a mile. Um, and so that's the, the difficult to evacuate area is the one where you have to be concerned about hospitals, daycare facilities, jails, other, I don't, there's that list, so there's others in there as well. And it's on, it does come up um, what you do have to worry about on here. But so you can see what comes up on the buffer. Um, you can see there's the, the orange is the field, there's a light orange around it, which is the actual buffer, and then the purple is the difficult to evacuate area. Um, and then on this tool, again, uh, there's a print option so that if you want to print it out and save your files, um, it's nice to be able to do that. You can record your own notes of what you, what, what you entered into the buffer calculator so you can keep track of what you're looking at. Um, there's some other notes here that describe what the inner buffer requirements are and the outer buffer requirements are the difficult to evacuate areas on here. Um, we don't have a saving feature on this right now. Um, we might in the future. There are some limitations around that. And, um, but if there's other options that you'd like to see on this, if you have a go on it, ha try it around and see what, how it works. And then um, let me know if there's any improvements you'd like to see. And then we can figure out if we can, we can get to that point. And uh, that's about it. So, are there any questions about the tool? No, everyone just wants to get their pesticide credits. And <laughs> take off. I know, I know. Hey, thanks, Colleen. Let's so, Colleen. I can oh. do this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but well, let's thank Colleen first. Oh. <laughs> so the last clicker survey is here. Um, knowledge increase. 
in this session.